Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Edwards. We're basically steamrolling the game lately. Just making sure we have enough space on our hard drive, and we do. RSH1GQ3Q. Zodiac. Wooden nickel. No idea how much money we have. There's the hourglass. Um, Glowing hourglass, I should say. I'd rather not use the sun here. But admittedly, this run has me scared, and it's just Curse of the Unknown. You know, Zodiac's fine. It depends what you get from it, but uh, it's it's at least okay most of the time, some of the time. Uh, wooden penny, wooden nickel, whatever you'd like to call it, I don't think gives us very much. But even if it gives us like eight cents per floor until we can replace it or eight cents per floor is probably a little bit optimistic for early but let's say five cents per floor that is at least half decent as well but the thing that is bothering me right now is the curse of the unknown i don't know how much hp we have and until we know how much hp we have i'm gonna probably be a little cautious here um hopefully like that's why i'm not using the sun card because you never know like maybe after i get hit once i should use the sun card and then see how it affects us, but if we have 3 HP, plenty of opportunities to make this run work. If we have 1 HP or like 2 spirit hearts or something like that, uh, well, there's our chance at an arcade on the next floor, uh, then, then life's a little bit more dangerous. I'll take pretty much whatever I can get there. I mean, 1 spirit heart is on the low end of rewards for a tinted rock, but not super disappointed. Speed up is actually nice. Our speed is not bad, but... Uh, Anything that's not a negative pill is going to be good for us right now. I do want to save one bomb for the boss fight as well. Uh, and it looks like we will be able to because there's no tinted rock on this room. So we've, we've held up our end of the bargain Isaac-wise. It's normally the uh, phrase I like to use in, in Gungeon when we flawless bosses, but uh, at least early in the game. But in Isaac, we've held up our end of the bargain. We haven't been hit so far. We haven't given the game a chance to fuck us. We'll use our bomb on the boss if it's uh, semi-tricky, and I'd say it's semi-tricky. Now we've only got to fight one... Wow! Uh, you know what? I don't want to take chances. So I'm kind of thinking we just pop the sun card. And then we get range plus luck up, and I'm just going to head down to the next floor. It was admittedly possibly suboptimal usage, but what if we only had one red heart? We didn't just have one red heart, we had some spirit hearts backing us up. So, uh, in the end, that was probably like a suboptimal usage of uh, the sun card, but I think in those situations where you've got Curse of the Unknown and have literally no idea what your HP looks like, you have to make decisions like that. If I'd been hit by one more turdling, I, uh, I could have potentially lost. Of course, we know now that I, I wouldn't have potentially lost because I had the spirit arts backing me up, but okay. This is great. It's actually awesome that we have the, um, the distribution of HP that we do. Uh, we'll maybe open that, but probably we'll be able to make our shop work for us here, considering that we have uh, the wooden penny and we're already at uh, 11 cents as is. And I don't think we'll need to buy spirit arts, but that's that's what our, I meant by saying our, our distribution of HP is really good right now. I'm happy that uh, it looks like we'll probably be able to finagle a deal with the devil. And there's a lot of deals that would more or less... I, they wouldn't guarantee us a win, but they'd give us a real leg up on on the game as is right now. For example, nine lives is like a victimless crime right now. We lose no HP, we just multiply our existing lives by nine and give ourselves a bead on that guppy transformation. Um, apart from that, we could really use some like actual DPS improvements. Uh, I 100% think it's worth using the Forget Me Now. If we were playing Super Min Maxi, we'd probably want to um, make sure that we... Uh, Use the wooden nickel slash penny for the rest of this floor, but I'm not overly worried about it. I want to make sure I don't forget to use the uh, the forget me now. So how are we going to use that? If we get another key, we'll probably use this uh, forget. Ah, that was so close. Probably use the um, forget me now after we open the chest in there, just so we don't have to fight the enemies. And I'm a lot less worried about boss rush right now than I am about just making this work. Um, but I, I suppose we could use it on boss rush as well if we were going ridiculously fast. So I guess if we get mom's knife or brimstone. From the deal with the devil, that'll be a contingency plan on which we'll use uh, the forget me now on boss rush, and we'll, we'll have a really good chance to make that happen. Oh, you know what? We don't even need another key because we've already been to our item room. So yeah, that 
The golden chest in the boss trap room is not long for this world. I think you go deep pockets. So we can hold some more stuff. It's not uh, an incredible pickup. It's one of those items, I, I basically pick up deep pockets. <sighs> I saw it coming, it was just, I was too late to get out of the way. Um, I don't really like deep pockets that much, but I know the community likes deep pockets a lot. So I've kind of just, you know, faked it till I maked it, I suppose. I don't think maked is the past tense of make, but uh, uh, you'll have to correct me, uh, third grade English teachers out there. Um, I, uh, I, I take it, and maybe it's having like subtle impacts on my run that I'm not cognizant of, because I'm not always the most detail-oriented person, at least when it comes to Isaac. Uh, I'm not disparaging myself, just, just throwing that out there. And I think our DPS is still relatively bad, so I don't mind using a bomb here to speed things up. If I had a black heart, I'd probably be a little bit too eager to just throw that away to get this monstro fight done a little faster, but maybe it's good that I don't. I'm realizing, like, the Forget Me Now is also a good thing, because not only does it give us one extra floor, of course, but it also allows us to stall uh, getting to the harder parts of the game, which is pretty important when it seems like our base stats right now are just god-awful, you know? It's like when, in, in Ontario, which is a province in Canada, you know, it's like our New York, maybe. Um, New York State, that is. It's got some big cities, and it's got a lot of rural stuff. Um, anyway, long story short, we used to have 13 grades. And we do not want a range upgrade here. We'll talk about this 13th grade stuff in a second here. Uh, Abaddon's good, but we're still going to use Forget Me Now. On the room on this floor. Um, you know how... I mean, assuming it works this way in America, I can't say for the rest of the world. But, uh, you have, like, 1st through 8th grade, then high school is ninth. Through, I don't love that, but sure. Then high school is 9th through 12th grades. In Ontario, we used to have a 13th grade, actually. But when it was abolished to try to, like, I guess, speed up the process of getting people into the workforce. So instead of going to college after 13 years, or, you know, depending on kindergarten, 14 or 15 years of school, um, you would go after 12 or 13 or 14. Um, but a lot of people after that point, just when they finished high school, they kind of like stuck around for another year. They took some extra classes, you know, maybe had a lot of spare periods, so they were able to work more at their part-time job and save up some money. And, uh, although I didn't take that avenue myself, I, I recognize it as being probably a good thing. And I kind of feel like that's what we're doing with the Forget Me Now. You know, you call it a, uh, it's not really a gap year, because you're kind of just using it to go back to high school, but... A victory lap, that's what they called it. Yeah, we're, we're kind of doing a victory lap here. We've already done the first two floors, but, you know, by coming back here, I will get that key. By coming back here, you know, we can take some opportunities to make ourselves stronger, and Dead Onion helps out a lot there. And we're kind of staving off, for at least another year, the scary prospect of entering the real world, you know, having to pay for our own shit, for the most part. You know, I can't speak to everybody's high school experience, but... That's what we're doing, because our, our DPS is still relatively bad. The fact that we have, like, a reliable piercing shot does change it. Uh, now, and it is spectral shots as well, but... Uh, certainly still a little underpowered on this run, and... Uh, an extra chance at a deal with the devil would be nice as well. Almost just walked right into that. I, I'm, I'm promising you 100% I'm going back for that key. Even though I have three keys now. And it's not as urgent as it used to be. I'm going back for it. This run, early on on this run, it became pretty clear, basically due to our damage, that uh, boss rush is going to be pretty unlikely. So I'm going to keep that by the wayside. Not super interested. I mean, I'm interested, but not super likely that we're going to be able to make it happen. If we can, like if we make boss rush happen on this run, that means that we have a, an absurdly, stupidly overpowered run. Which would be amazing. And... Maybe this deal with the devil will help us, uh, you know, finesse that right off the bat here, but we'll see. Alright, it's our third first floor boss. It would be great if we go back for that key, explore more, and then find, like, a double key room that is a five room. And then we just end up doing this floor again. You know, let's see how many second floors in one run we could possibly stack up. It did happen to Josh once. Josh did the same floor three times, I think, on, on an NLSS. And if you're asking me what date it was, you know, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. I, mean, I took a lot of hits to the head in my career, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I, mean, I guess I probably had a whey protein shake. You know, it's important after you, you've been uh, losing that muscle overnight. You gotta get the hypertrophy back, etc., etc. 
Thanks, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my voice. Like, it used to be a higher fidelity impression, you know, but now it's starting to get a little weird. It's like I'm going through inverted puberty or something. Oh, we actually can't get those keys. Alright, so, like, there's no way for us to get that, unless maybe we could buy a bomb from our shop, but... That seems low percentage. So we're gonna move on here. We're, like, a floor behind Boss Rush, but, um... We got one red heart, which is a really good level to be at. Lots of black hearts backing it up. No spacebar item, which I'm gonna choose to just say means we have an open spacebar item slot. Uh, Zodiac occasionally is gonna be sweet, like, uh, on this floor. Gemini is at least okay. But we're definitely still waiting for whatever's gonna bust this run wide open. Abaddon gives us a damage upgrade that is good, and it gives us a large, um, window of safety by giving us so many black hearts. Uh, and we had a few spirit hearts for, to begin with as well, but, um, and Dead Onion lays a foundation for good damage to be had later, but we're not at that level yet. Uh, we're, we're gonna need to find something a little bit more extravagant, otherwise... This is in danger of becoming those runs where it just sort of never pops off, and we've still made several of those runs into wins against uh, against their will. I, I haven't been hit by that attack in forever. That was that was foreign to me. There we go. Got range plus tears up. The tears up is actually extremely useful and we got you know all hearts we can use so mr dolly i actually think is, is quite good i don't know how much the tears upgrade actually uh is you know if it's like 0 0.1 tears up they shouldn't even write it on the box that's like against fda regulations i'm trying to think what i'm there was a food i was uh oh this is awesome i'm i'm actually oh we're definitely taking empty vessel and pentagram for now but that that helps us out a ton i'm not really like as much as I talk about, you know, fitness sometimes on the show, I don't live, like, a particularly healthy lifestyle. Like, there are periods where I do, and, and right now, I guess, is one of them. But I don't watch what I eat that much. I just try to get in, like, an hour of exercise a day so I don't keel over at age, like, 31 from sitting at this fucking computer all day. Um, but I was, like, more into fitness when I was in high school, so some of that knowledge has stuck around with me. I was in the grocery store the other day. I want to say I was looking at Lunchables, but... I'm not sure, but you know, there, there's, if you're not familiar with the, the science of nutrition to even a certain extent, marketing plays a huge role in it. You know, it's the kind of thing like, um, my parents sometimes buy these like super thin buns for hamburgers because they, they think they're like low carbohydrate because on the, on the bun or on the packaging, it says like, you know, 50% less bread than regular buns or something like that. But if you look on the back, they have like two less grams of carbohydrates. Anyway, like it's getting a little inside baseball here, but um, there was a, I want to say I was looking at Lunchables, which is basically uh, a package of Ritz crackers, some processed American cheese and three slices of ham with a chocolate bar and a, a sugary juice in a package, you know, meant to be, it, it's for kids. I'm not saying, you know, kids shouldn't be able to eat fun foods, of course. I mean, that's just the other day I had some baby carrots. I mean, no. Um, but I believe the package said, now with six grams of protein. And I can imagine that if you're like, you like, in your head, you're like, protein's good, right? This has six grams of it. Six grams of protein is actually, like, basically nothing. You might eat six grams of protein a day in the spiders you consume during your sleep. I know that's a myth, but I'm just making a point here. You know, it's amazing... Knowing how to read nutrition labels and, and what they actually mean makes a lot of marketing look really silly. When you, like, look at a package and it says, you know, six grams of protein in every serving. That's not that much. I'm not saying everybody should be drinking protein shakes, but you know, like, one scoop of whey protein is, like, 25 grams of protein. Somewhere between 20 and 50, depending on, you know, the, the brand you got going on there. Six grams of protein is, like... You know, you probably poop that. You probably poop out way more than six grams of protein. I'm just throwing that out there. I what what you should really be concerned about is if if a product advertises the amount of vitamin C it has. Ooh, cancer is a good item here. Or if it advertises the amount of protein it has and it's like under 15 grams or something like that. Because what that means is that they're like shit. People are trying to be healthy in this day and age, but our product is very unhealthy. What should we do? Well, we gotta like, put some orange flavoring in it and then say it's got 15% of your daily vitamin C. If you look at a picture of an orange, you get 5,000% of your daily requirement of vitamin C. 
Don't even get me started. Um, and if you're out there and you're listening to me say this and you, you do this, please don't take this as a damnation of your character. Just just listen to what... Hear me out here. People, like, especially... Well, I was going to say especially X people where X was going to be, like, people of a certain age, but I think it's universal. People, like, really value vitamin C. They're like, yo, oh, I feel myself getting sick. I'm going to chug... You know, a liter of orange juice to get my vitamin C. Dog, it's too late. The virus or bacteria has taken uh, hold inside of your body. You're going to have to ride it out. But beyond that, you basically are just consuming a lot of sugar. The vitamin C, you, I, unless you're a sailor, you're getting enough vitamin C on a daily basis. If you eat like an apple a week, you're doing fine on vitamin C. Now, I'm not a nutritionist. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but... Uh, what I will say is you should probably eat more than one piece of fruit a week. Let's try this out. We don't do this enough. And that's the reason why, because it was pretty bad. But um, whenever whenever I see people be like, I've consumed two liters of orange juice today because I'm trying to avoid getting sick. I'm like, your, your pancreas is so mad at you right now. It really is. And your mouth is going to get all... The pH levels are going to be fucked up. You're going to get canker sores. That's going to be way worse than if you just wrote out a stuffy nose. And you're going to say... Oh, I know, but, uh, you know, I did it once, and I felt myself getting sick, and I drank this much orange juice, and it, uh, fought it off. I am a huge fan of the placebo effect. A lot of people are smarmy about it, you know? They say, uh, oh, that's just the placebo effect. Yo, if, if whatever you're doing psychologically is making you feel better and alleviating the symptoms of what you may or may not objectively be biologically suffering from, that's extremely valuable. However, I think it's the placebo effect. And I'll, I've done it to myself. Sometimes, you know, if I'm coming back from a convention or something, I'll take those, like, emergency packages that are, like, you know, 5,000% of your daily vitamin C. But sometimes, uh, to be honest with you, even though they taste a little funky, I've kind of gotten used to it. I like it from time to time. Anyway, as always, the moral of this story is that, to, to some extent, I'm a hypocrite. But I really feel like we had, we had mandatory gym class in high school, and there was, like, a health component of that gym class. But literally, uh, the health component of our gym class was like, first off, use a condom. Secondly, and that's great advice, by the way. I'm not going to get into that, but sure, yeah, it's fantastic advice. Um, definitely don't use two condoms at the same time. Unless you got two dicks, in which case, don't use four condoms at the same time. Unless you got four dicks, in which case, go on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Because I do not believe it, and I'd like to see Dean Cain prove or deny its existence. No deal with the devil, huh? But the meat upgrade is uh, good for HP and good for our uh, damage to some extent, at least, as well. Um, hopefully some guppy action here. Nope, but we do get Maggie's faith. But um, I really feel like, after the condom talk, our teacher was like, if you eat french fries, don't eat french fries with ketchup. Because ketchup has a lot of sugar in it. Not necessarily terrible advice, but sort of like, you know, you're, you're only like 25% of the way there. It would be dope if in like freshman year of high school... Half of gym classes were like, go out and run a mile. And then the other half, you know, like, two times a week, they you take you into the classroom and they're like, here's how you read a nutrition label. I feel like that level of education would be so important. As an adult, you know, I still eat Doritos from time to time. I may still, on occasion, consume one too many adult beverages in a single session. I probably spend a little bit too much time being sedentary, but knowledge is power, man. Having the knowledge to, like, be able to read the back of a nutrition label and be like, These marketers are trying to trick me! Frosted flakes aren't actually good for me! Just because they've got one, one gram of iron per serving? I don't even know what the heck riboflavin is! Why am I basing my whole entire nutritional plan on it, right? Uh, anyway, um, this is... This is incidental to the Isaac talk, but it's also a good indication that Isaac is going pretty well if we're uh, in a position where we can just shoot the shit, basically. But we're still, like, sitting here until we can find some extra action on this run. Which is my way of saying our DPS is not where I'd like it to be just yet. It may get there, but it's not there yet. And I don't really want to play that Blood Bank. I'm mostly just looking for deals with the Devil and... At this point, Mark packed Death's Touch. I'm super stoked, by the way, we got Pentagram. And Empty Vessel's awesome as well, even though I keep accidentally forgetting that we have it and removing my own ability to fly. What's your favorite song with Fly in the title? Is it Lenny Kravitz's Fly? Is it, um... 
Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters? Is it um, Sugar Ray's Fly? You know, I just want to fly. Oh, what you, what you, what you, what you, what you want? That's more of the Beastie Boys thrown in there, but they, they had like a DJ in the back there to give them a little bit of street cred. Just so you know, Sugar Ray goes hard. Thank God. We got a growth hormones pickup and two guppy items. One of which is actually Guppy's head, which is going to fill our requirement for a space bar item. So we should actually straight up give up. What makes you small is fine. Balls of steel is wonderful. We should straight up give up on boss rush right now. But we do have a, an amazing ability to uh, get good now. We're one guppy item away from completing the guppy transformation. And honestly, we've navigated whatever minor pitfalls this run has given us. And we're coming out on the other side with a win in all likelihood. I did make my HP pretty low in order to take those two guppy items. But I think we're in a very, very good state here. And uh, our damage is still not where I want it to be. But now we're only one of several items away. You know, th there's a, a very large pool of items that is probably going to give me a, a pretty easy chance of victory. And that'll be like win 28, which is exciting. But again, 28... Phew, you saw ESPN articles, Golden State Warriors win 28 games in a row. You wouldn't be that impressed. We gotta wait for 30 before we throw a, a, even a minor celebration. And I, I hope that we're able to do so. You know what? We will take Tammy's head. I think that this is a more consistent damage improvement for us. I don't know why. I forgot that I had Tammy's head and I used it as if it was Guppy's head. So that was silly. Um, oh, empty vessel invincibility, man. Bomb synergy, bomb synergy. Nah, just bombs. That's okay. Do we go to the shop? I mean, there's a temptation involved in going to the shop. Okay, we can also waste the key. Let's see what's in here. I was kind of hoping it'd be greed. Let's just donate. I, I don't really care about getting a blood bank on the next floor, so we might as well just throw some money at it here. And... 528. This is the healthiest our donation machine has been in a while, so... That's exciting. Is this all because of the Forget Me Now? No, I don't actually know how much the Forget Me Now did for us, but if you look at those items on the right side of the screen, we've kind of been killing it lately, at least. Oh, dude. I totally should not have Maggie's Faith. <laughs> I just realized. I'm like, finally, we've got a good trinket. No, this is, this is a terrible decision. We don't want to have um, extra HP. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I guess we didn't have enough money coming down here to just give us the uh, the chance to get an arcade. So it is it's very stupid of me, basically. It's judgment. Oh yeah, throw him down. Give ourselves a better deal with the devil chance and some extra consumables out of it. But yeah, we, we don't really want Tammy's head long term. We'd rather keep our semi permanent ability to fly by Sugar Ray. My favorite uh, is probably Learn to Fly. I got it of those songs at least. I mean, I've got a soft spot for Sugar Ray's fly, and not really a soft spot. More like a rock hard spot for Lenny Kravitz's fly away. I want a Milky Way. I want to fuck Milky Way. Yeah. You know, that's uh, Neil Sissierga. Probably grossly mispronounced that. No disrespect meant, though. Oh, lovely. Okay, I forgot that with Tammy's head uh, and piercing shots, you've actually got quite a potent room destroyer here. Still like to pick up just anything that gives me more run-killing potential. Doesn't have to be incredible. I'll take what I can get. By run-killing, I mean, you know, room-killing. I'm, what I'm worried about is the the decent percentage chance that we, you know, go down to a floor that's somewhat tough and then we get Libra and it just, for whatever reason, like our damage is horrible or something like that. I'm not sure if that's actually likely to happen. Like, we might have fairly balanced stats, so maybe Libra wouldn't change much, but I'm kind of like a little, a little spooked by that concept. Zodiac can occasionally fuck you in that situation, or make you run better. I don't know, maybe our other stats are a step ahead, but uh, I don't know that they are. 
And to be honest with you, because we have Curse of the Unknown, or Curse of the Lost here, if I find a uh, big champion belt instead of Humbling Bundle, because I want the damage. Um, if we find the boss fight, we'll probably go for it, even if we don't find the item room first. And is that lazy? Uh, a little lazy, yeah. Uh, no doubt about it, but uh, at the same time, I don't like the exploration here. So let's just go fight Mom. If we can hit her with like a huge little Tammy's head action there, a huge little Tammy's head action there, um, then we're pretty much set. And as you saw, that did like 60% of her overall HP in a single blow. Deal with the devil. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I would have been hit there for sure if they didn't stop. Well, uh, if this is... That sucks. If this is a... Lump of coal, that's pretty sweet. We got 41 bombs, so... Definitely gonna blow these up looking for more. And it is lump of coal, so I, I stand by my decision earlier that this is pretty sweet. But... We are lacking, well, we're, first off, we're going to be lacking the ability to fly, because I'm an idiot, but at least that gives us a decent chance to get a deal with the devil here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We were still flying for a, a second there. I guess it's just a holdover or something. Uh, so we're, due to low shot speed, I think Lump of Coal may have a longer chance to get good. Is that how that actually works here? The longer a shot spends in the air, not the greater distance it travels, is, is the parameter or the attribute that on which it acts in order to scale damage accordingly. Sorry to talk dirty to you guys there. That was inappropriate. I don't know if I want to spend two spirit arts to go into this curse room just yet. My thinking is, why not wait until we have a, a potential deal with the devil, trade our HP away. First off, maybe we'll just become Guppy in there. Secondly, the devil. Secondly, the devil, by the way. No, but secondly, um, if we at least trade away one HP and get Empty Vessel back, then we can go in there and only take half a heart of damage. Or uh, half as much damage, which would be a full heart in this situation. But I'll admit, I'm slightly frightened uh, by the turns of events here. We're not even close to being in the danger zone as far as HP goes, but... We're a little closer to the danger zone than I thought we would be after some of the pickups that we got, but that's okay. We, we've gotten ourselves in these, like, mini crises. Crises? Crisis is one of those words you never want to have pluralized. You know, one crisis is bad enough. But um, we've gotten ourselves out of these little miniature crises in, pass, in the past, I should say. And I think we... Stand a pretty good chance to do it again right here. We got the foundation of a of a pretty lovely run. We're not lacking much. And one guppy item, especially if it's nine lives, basically just gives us the win by itself. Okay. Found our boss fight very quickly. These guys should go down. Not too many extra hits after the original. We'll use one of our many keys to do this. We do have good bombs as well, and we have 50 of them. Well, even if we don't get a deal with the devil, we can fly into our curse room. And I think it is almost certainly worth one spirit heart. Oh, lucky us. No deal with the devil. Yeah, okay, so we'll take this. We'll go into our curse room. Even if this doesn't make us guppy, I think it's worth the cost. And now I'm like, shit. Maybe, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Maybe we should have stuck with, uh... We should have stuck with, uh... Maggie's faith. We found ourselves in this situation. Now, it might theoretically be possible to get out of this room with the pony's active effect. I don't think so, though, but let's line it up. Nope. <laughs> you gotta admit, creative thinking, though. Uh, let's go up and around. And uh, definitely feeling like the hush fight is probably not gonna happen on this, right? On this, on this ride, on this run, of course, is what I meant to say. Let's take a sip of water. This could get serious down here. I think we should do it. Not necessarily what I was looking for here. Because what I was looking for was a very narrow subset of items that, you know, could give us guppy or just give us more damage. Or, you know, something like infamy would have been sweet as well. Um, but as long as we don't get hit, this is fine. I like to save Tammy's head for the last enemy, just 
just so that we got that peace of mind, but I, I kind of misused it here. This ended up being a much more, like, balanced run than I expected, and admittedly, I've taken some damage I shouldn't have taken, but... I also feel like it, it didn't quite, uh, con at least so far, it hasn't quite continued to scale uh, as, as well as we would have expected maybe from the start. So this guy, I think it's blown up. Because we want the better deal with the Devil Chance, I don't really want what he's liable to give me, which is the, uh, you know, incrementing of some extra HP here. Um, let's see what we've got going on there. Beautiful. Tinted Rock could save us here. And Goathead means that we definitely did not need to blow up that judgment. But that's a, it's a start. And we have another <laughs> another curse room. I gotta admit, I'm tempted to go straight away. But if we can trade away our HP first, it's to our advantage to go into that curse room at half price. Because one HP, I'm not saying it's likely to make the difference, but it, it could make the difference here. And there's Abel as well. It's really a... Uh, Guppy's tail coming through for us right now and giving us uh, all these golden chests. And some of them have been good, some of them have been, I mean, bad, but I'm still happy to have had the opportunity to have them, I suppose. And look at what, I don't know what happened here recently. Maybe this floor is just, you know, I'm picking easier rooms than the last floor, but so far this, this floor is going much more swimmingly than the last one did. Uh, except for that damage right there, and we're good, okay. Still fine, though. Not getting a whole lot of uh, Spirit Heart action, though. In fact, none. Or little, at least. But I haven't really been paying as close attention as I probably should to the chances for Spirit Hearts to show up, either. Oh my god, these deflecting champions. That was beautiful. I'm a little bit on edge here. You can probably sense it in the commentary, but... I think we're we're coming close to like a pivotal moment on this run. And I'm I'm just hopeful luck up, luck up, luck up. No. I'm hopeful that we can, you know, manage to swing this. And I, I think I, I have every reason to be optimistic. I mean we do have eight and a half, aka the Fellini number of HP, and that's really, really good for now. But I worry that perhaps in the future uh, if we don't have a reliable way to get HP, every time we get hit, it just lowers our chances uh, more considerably than I'd like, at least. A little dangerous there. I'd like to spend as little time as possible in this phase, and it's okay. Our deal with the devil is guppy. Okay, so we're not even going to bother going to our curse room at this point, because I don't want to lose any HP. I would have much preferred nine lives, but um, just becoming Guppy in general is is extremely valuable. Now you might think that we're set, but actually, Curse of the Unknown has me freaking out a little bit here. We should try these. And at this point, I guess the the big play is Infamy, but mostly I'm looking for like Spirit Hearts, honestly. And we only spent two keys to open four chests, so. Luck upgrades also great because they give us more chests, but honestly with Guppy's Tail, we need more keys as well because we're probably going to get... If we get chests, there's a good chance that they're going to be, um... That they're going to be golden chests, so... Money equals power would be dope as well. We do have Wheel of Fortune, and, and Wheel of Fortune is a, uh... Is a card that I've been holding for a while on the off chance that we end up being able to take it down to the next floor. And we have the Devil, which we may actually just use against Isaac. We'll see. Anything to get down to those items a little faster, but I really do have kind of like a an attainable goal on this floor, and that goal is to just get through this floor without taking any damage. Uh, I would accept it as like a B plus achievement of this goal if we only took damage on Isaac, or if we only took one damage on the floor in general. But um, I, I'd really I think it's plausible and extremely desirable to take no damage on this floor. I mean, you can tell that I'm a little worked up over this run because I, I'm picking up. Uh, all the consumables that drop, including pennies that are extremely unlikely to actually give us any benefit. But yo, we're not talking. We're not blowing smoke up your ass about nutrition anymore. All right, we're trying to make a, a run work here. And there we go. We got a luck upgrade. Now we spent a key to get it, which means that we may not have a key to open a chest that may result as a result of that luck upgrade. But we've already picked that up, so we don't need to get it again. Um, but if we do get enough keys, then this this is good. And I actually, I think we're lucky enough to not be in a position where we actually need anything 
for the the chest. Like, we should be able to win in spite of... I was going to say in spite, but I don't really mean it in spite. We should be able to win with our existing run. Uh, I just... I'd like a little extra comfort on it. A little more certainty. And that Spirit Heart helps out a lot, actually. We have not yet been hit on this floor. Um, just watch out, because you could have Stompy. I think we would have noticed by now, but... Uh, you never want Zodiac to be the thing that tilts the game in the enemy's favor. It's not really that long of a run when you consider that... I mean, first off, it's, it's only been 33 minutes. It's like pretty standard for Isaac. Maybe slightly outside of the normal range recently, but... Um, we did use Forget Me Now as well, so... Although it may seem like it's a little slow, and I think probably even if you take out Forget Me Now, it's slightly slower than our average lately. I only bring that up, by the way, not to be like, oh... Extra 10 minutes out of my work day. Again, every day that I get to just record a fuck ton of Isaac is like a beautiful day for me. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, I shouldn't have stood there. So I'd, I'd give us like a B minus on this floor now, but um, it, it's more as like an indication of where our power level is on the run. You know, DBZ style. You finish a run in 15 minutes, the power level's absurd. If you finish it in 35 minutes, you're, you're more like, I should be a little more cautious, I, I suppose. Alright, no curse, no curse, no curse, that's good. And our HP is okay. Our Wheel of Fortune item is actually good. Uh, an extra rate of fire increase gives us more, um... Oh, fuck. Gives us more, uh... Flies. You know what? I am gonna use it. We got the Mom Transformation, the Wafer... Firemine Tractor Beam. Why am I using this? I don't think it's zany to use the D4 one time. I think that that's fun. I'm gonna. I'm trying to strike a balance here. And you know what? I think this has made our run quite a bit better. So let's go take Tammy's head. We do have to be pretty careful about Firemine, admittedly. But as long as we stay relatively far away. Plus, we got the wafer. So actually, that was like slightly zany and... Surprisingly fairly tactical as well. Like the fact that we managed to pick up the wafer on that first roll makes me look like probably more of a genius than I deserve to look like, to be honest with you. Um, but I'll take it. Of course, we have Sack Dagger as well. And that is uh, probably the best orbital in the game. I've never really quantified them, but I think you've got to be like Sack Dagger's number one, right? The damage out of it is uh, ridiculous. I think we also uh, stuck with our luck upgrade. Of course, we still got Guppy as well, but I think our luck upgrade stuck around. Or at least we have good luck regardless, because we're getting a ton of uh, a ton of chess. But you know what? We've rolled out of Guppy's tail, which maybe is what's uh, giving us the opportunity to get so many non-golden chests here. So they could have... I'm not going to pat myself on the back too much harder here, but we do have the relic on this one as well. So, all right. This is going to be, unless something absolutely unfeasible goes... or unforeseeable goes terribly wrong. This is going to be win 28. That's exciting. Certainly, this is probably the best form in Isaac that I've had in, uh, in over a year. It was like last May when we had that 100 streak, so... I, f I feel... I, it's hard to, to quantify this, but I feel really comfortable in Isaac. Over the last 60 or so runs, I don't think that there's been a run that we've throne that we should have won. I think, you know, the losses and the bad damage we've taken have largely come on runs that were also quite tough. So this is a good win. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.